Hello everyone, it's Gunther, I'm back. It's been a while. Uh, I've been playing a lot of different things. Uh, got sidetracked pretty heavily. Resident Evil dropped, um, Diablo beta, a lot of excuses, but we're back. I will not be dropping any spoilers for Resident Evil at all, but I will say, thoroughly enjoyed the game. I started on hardcore, and I can definitely tell you that is a that is a hardcore experience. It is very hard. And I'm planning to do a couple other playthroughs. I'm debating if I'll get the platinum or not. I might. Mainly because my friends are gonna go for it, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be the guy who just like you know doesn't go for it. They're going for it. I know it's like a <laughs> it sounds silly, but hey, little friendly competition never hurt anyone, right? Well, I can't really say that part, but here we are. So we're back to power washing. I want to get further so that we can actually get to like do some of the DLCs. But I know I have like a lot to go from what I can at least remember when I saw someone play this. But I also kind of blacked out a good chunk of this game. Um, let's move this. I need the scaffolding. Because this is not okay. Like, boom. Teleport this over. So I think we just get one of these sections over. I don't know what I said I was going to do last time. But been long enough where I'm going to be honest. Don't believe any things I said then. They're incorrect now. <laughs> but the one thing that is true is we definitely are closer to our goal of upgrading our washer. We're getting the new upgrade and I want that one really bad. But it'll take some time. As do all things in life. Well, not all things, but, you know, the, the stuff you really want normally takes a good amount of time. So we'll start from the top, start working our way down. I definitely like this washer is pretty strong. That's why I'm like really curious how the next upgrade will do. I'll probably just do this side for this video. It looks like it's going to be intricate enough where it's going to take a little bit of time. And at least then it feels like we're getting like a, a good chunk of like something done. Yeah, I was definitely enjoying uh, the Diablo beta. I was trying to like balance both and then the servers for the beta were like really finicky. So I was like, that made my choice a lot easier. So I put all that time into Resident Evil. I would suggest, though, if you're, like, trying to go in super, like, not knowing what things they've changed and stuff like that, uh, do not watch any of the trailers. They drop a I think that's what I said before. But they drop a lot of stuff in it that, um, if you're trying to go in, like, surprise, you're gonna have that surprise kind of taken away from you a bit. But if it's your first time going through Resident Evil, I don't think it, like, to Resident Evil 4, I should say, I don't think it's going to be spoilery for you because you'll not have any context but if you have gone through the games before that's when i would say like yeah just go in blind you have nothing to gain as much from watching trailers besides getting hyped but i assume if you're waiting for the game you're already probably hyped anyway i played it on um ps5 so i don't i can't speak to how the pc quality is I know for the demo, my PC was like, it could run it, but I could not stream it. So do with that as you will. I don't really have like a super high-end computer, though, but I can run most, most games, no issues. Diablo, though, was a real pain to run on PC. I was like half tempted to just like swap over to console for that one, just because of how like, kind of how bad the, get to the porting was I, but it really does not. I mean, eh, I don't know. That's a hard one. Uh, for me, it felt like the port, the actual quality of how the game ran on PC was not great. It was not up to snuff for me. Okay, there's a lot of crap we're missing. Oh, I see. So it's like in these little corners. Okay, 
There we go. I want to finish this silly part. But there's like a bunch of crap in there, which now I can see, but... Uh, let's swap to a smaller nozzle and see if I can get in there. It's like a lot, like, in this part. There we go. Okay. And this is pretty good. Oof. I don't want to move this, but I have to. There. I think we just keep doing what I just did. Go from the top to the bottom. And keep having to move this scaffolding. I just hate it when you move stuff. Cause I like to do it with minimal effort sometimes. Why is there a gnome up there? Oh no! Uh oh. I just kind of knocked that gnome over. We didn't see that happen. On the plus side, the way I'm tackling this already does like a good thumbnail shot. Let's get a good look at it. But uh, I still feel like I have a lot to do. There's a lot of bird crap up there. I think, kind of how we handle this. Probably want to handle the roof next. As you can see, there's a lot of crap up there. But I think I need to get a lot closer to do. So I think just finalizing the roof would have to be its own little section. Maybe I should just jump over there. Can I make this? Yes. Okay. Look at all that gunk there. Also, I'm not sure how much anyone watching is like into like sci-fi and stuff like that, but I read this book for a movie coming out. I also got to Mikey's Mikey, sorry, I could say Mike. Mikey 17 or 16 or whatever the number is. The book is a different name, but it's like the same it's still Mikey, but it's like a different number. I don't know why they change it for the thing. But it's like Edward Cullen, I think is his name. I always forget it because I always mix him up with his movie character he played. Um But the book is actually pretty good from what I read. Um, I read the first book. The second book just came out recently, like sometime in March. So I have to go pick that up and read it. I don't really end up, I don't really read very often, but I do find that for some reason, sci-fi books are like really the ones that kind of grab me really well. And that one was a really interesting book to go through. Like it was a good mix of like interesting lore into that world. And then the storytelling there, I don't want to give any spoilers at all, but it's very interesting. Like, uh... Kind of goes into a lot of, like, morality questions and, like, things about life. But, like, kind of not really. It's, I don't know, it's really interesting. I don't know how to explain it besides the way next. Like, I'm trying to, like, explain it the most sanitized way without giving any details. Because I feel like going into how I did it, I just kind of saw a trailer that told me nothing. I was like, eh, I'm gonna check it out. And then reading it, I felt really filled in a lot of things for me where I was like, okay. You do feel suspense at a lot of parts, wondering like what's gonna happen next. So I'm kind of curious how the movie's gonna cover it just because uh, it'd be interesting. Oh, let's get this. My goal this year was to get into more reading and also clear up my gaming backlog. I've done a not a great job at both of those. I've read and I have beat some games, but I've also gotten more games and gotten more books I've added to my list to read. So <laughs> can't quite say I'm doing good work there. But I guess any slow progress is still progress. So got to look at it in the positive side. Or as a moral oral fans would say, the the blight side of things. <laughs> I think that's the terminology he used. Well, the dad used. 
Okay, so we're almost done with this part. And then we have to, like, worry about the cleanup and then kind of getting more of that roof. I want to at least make sure, like, the lower parts are clean. Because I'm going to assume, like, all those top parts I'm going to to hit again when I do the roof and stuff. Just because, like, it's... This is not a tackle from one angle kind of thing. You gotta hit it from way more spots. It's like, oh. Okay. Sorry, my cat is up on my keyboard. She, like, has a problem where she doesn't, like, to stay in one spot. We've, like, set up beds for her, a box on my desk for her to sit in. She's like, yeah, it's nice, Noble. What if I just, like, stomp all over your computer while you're playing? Or in meetings, or working, or doing anything, for the most part. <laughs> I mean, this is still better than when she used to actually sleep on our keyboard. Well, either of our keyboards, my for mine. Because uh, then you'd wake up on your PCs on some really weird settings. It's kind of like when you had a kid your phone, and you come back, and it's like a different language, and all that crap. Uh, okay. Uh, let's switch over to the stub. I'm making my life harder right now. I'm not missing something on this part. I don't quite know what. Let's go to the yellow. There we go. Okay. What's missing on the stone base? Well, there's a lot of crap. The more I look at it. <laughs> okay. So this has a lot of stuff still on it. That's good. Yeah, I'll come back to the roof. But we are making progress. And that's a plus. Okay. Um, so can I get this part and I'll start some of the roof of this video, honestly. Just like so at least clean up some of the parts I just touched up that like I didn't really do that good of a job on. Honestly, even without the extension, this thing's pretty strong. Okay, I say that and I look and there's like a lot of crap I missed just there. So take that statement back, redacted. Okay, that's stuck. Been watching a lot of people I normally check on YouTube playing a lot of horror games and stuff. Um, I often actually we haven't like because she's been doing um gigs for pet sitting. We haven't had the chance to like do a recording together or test out like how it would work. So we're gonna see how that is because if not, we're, if we can't do Snowboy together. We'll probably figure out if we can do like um a side by side playthrough of uh what's that thing? Ob I'm on observation duty. Or one of those type games. They're kind of fun, from what I've seen. It's very much like a spot the difference horror game. Uh, I feel like she'll probably do better than at it than me. Only because, like, I feel like I'm going to miss out on some random key details. And... So, this, this whole thing. All right, I got to jump over that. Okay. But, um,. I feel like she's going to catch on to a lot of stuff that I'd probably miss. Unless I feel like I'm going to miss some weird details. It's a lot of memorization, and sometimes my brain just goes, yeah, I'm not going to remember any of that. Granted, other times I will like, spot something that's like really far. That's like, oh yeah, that's different. Okay. Get some of that. So yeah, I'll we'll save this whole other side for the next time. But I just want to clear up some of the roof. But we can get this part. Right there. I'm going to assume that there's like a part under this little ridge on the roof that I'm not seeing. So I'm going to jump over there. Yep. There we go that and there we go 
Let's see, the rest of this crap we'll get next time. I'm just like getting a little bit of it, just because it saves me a little, little time. Let's get a little bit of this done. Okay. Ooh, good jump. And now we get this part. I'm gonna assume there's like little random spots I've definitely missed, so coming back in. I also find it hard to like focus on what I'm cleaning and the percentage thing on the left. So I feel like that's normally what messes me up sometimes. I'm like, eh, I think I've done a good enough job, and then I don't hear the ding, and I'm like, what happened? And I see that there's like a giant percentage still there. It's probably because I missed some weird gunk. Like the stuff over here. Okay. That. So that part I think I'm not going to finish till next time just because it's on the other side. I assume it's all one chunk. But I can at least jump down here. Oop. And get this. Okay. I'm still missing a ton of stuff. Okay. Also, let me know if you guys would prefer, like, I mean, some of these are really big, so, like, I don't know if it's, like, worth it to, like, do the whole, like, the whole job in one video. Just stuff like that would take a very long time. I don't know, like, the optimal length for these are, just, like, for people's attention spans. I know, like, for me, I know it's, like, still like this in the background, I'm doing something, and just have it playing. Or will they kind of focus and watch? I don't know if you like cut these videos down, but like I don't know. But, like I kind of enjoy it as a long form. Alright, what am I missing? Okay, well, yeah, that. <laughs> okay. That should be that wall. Okay, that's that. Clean. So now we gotta go back on the roof. Um, pop on the long. Okay. There we go. As much as I want to fight it, I'm gonna move this closer so I can get up there. That's close enough, I think. And now we gotta jump on the roof. But first I'll see what I can clean from up top and then we'll jump on the roof. Yeah, cause this crap would probably be easier from up here. I don't know how I missed that whole section of dirt right there. I'm missing stuff on the figurehead. Can't quite see it, so I'm gonna jump over it. Well, there it is. Yep. That's it. When in doubt, go over there and you'll see all the crap you're missing. Like, I feel like I did a good job until I jump over and I'm like, oh no, I've not done anything. Let's get a kickstart on this roof. Can I make it? Okay. So hit this like this, and then I have to come back the other way. Just to get whatever I missed on the way. So much dirt. Okay. I might as well start this since I'm up here looking at it. This is also how I get sidetracked and I'm doing a ton of things. Like I was playing with my friends, like when I was playing Diablo, it's a funny thing of whenever I see a dungeon, I'm like, oh cool, I'm gonna go do that. And it's like we have a whole objective we're trying to do. Um save I get sidetracked incredibly easy. It is very much a 
problem. One could even argue a neurotypical problem. <laughs> okay, so get that. Um, I hope I have not used that terminology incredibly wrong. Probably I could. Would be on brand for me. Um, let's get this. There we go. Okay. I'm not gonna get this roof part, but I wanted to get this stupid this thing. So I'm looking at it. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? Ooh. Let's get some more of this stupid figurehead. Trying not to fall off the roof while we're at it. Yeah, figurehead's clean. Power, at least from this side. Let's get all the crap we can. Okay. Is that a shadow or dirt? That's a shadow. Same for this thing. Let's get the part we can. There's too many figureheads on this thing. It makes it a pain. They're like not easy to get at certain angles. Okay. I know I've missed like a ton on that thing because I can't see the other angle, but it's fine. We'll get it next time. Or I'll forget, and that'll be in the last three things I have to clean up. That's good. Get here. Go slow and steady. Okay. Feel like we've done some good work here. So now, next time's gonna be getting more of these sections. It's not full. Clearing that. Okay. As much as I said I did a good job, I'm now seeing a butt ton of dirt I missed. <laughs> That's a lot of dirt. I'm hoping when I get the upgrade that like I know I, I could be going over these sections a lot slower, but I hope when I get the upgrade that that's less of an issue. I feel like that would be the case. Let's just do a quick once around. Did this part last episode. So I guess we'll do this section next time. <gasps> the gnome. Can I place him? Oh, I can. Put him down. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hold him anymore. Okay, that was weird. Um. So yeah, we'll get this section and then we'll go to the back. Or we could start from this back. No, nah, no. Nah, we might as well just do that and then into this because this is like not that bad. And then the last part's the roof. I think this won't won't be that bad. Um. For knowledge sake, uh, the upgrade we want is here. Five thousand. We are very close, but not very. Uh, I don't think there are any small jobs that are new. No, the newest job is like a big job. So yeah, we'll come back, finish up this, and then we'll move on to that tree house that I can already tell you will be a pain. But I'll see you then. Thanks again for checking me out. If you liked it, please subscribe and come back for more.